right, guys. Today, I wanted to make a cool short video for you. I know that the OS 3.0.20 uh, is on now. So, uh, on the UDM Pro, so I wanted to do my own video. Uh, kind of a second part, because things have changed since the last video of how to make your 10 gig the default WAN. And they've added more WAN options now, so I just wanted to show everyone. So, let's get into this and let's rock it out. So, first thing, what we're going to want to do is go to your internet, go to your system, go to your settings tab, and then go to internet. And then I scroll down, I'm not going to show you my WAN address, but it would be up there. If you have different connections or just different stuff you want to do. But go down and you're going to see we have my primary ones right here secondary one we have a sfp plus 11 and we have this other 8 gig one over here so that's pretty cool you can use uh either the 8 the 9 11 or 10 to be any of your um wan connections so you could have two s two sfp plus wan connections if you want or you can have two rj45 wan connections if you want or mix match one of one of the other pretty dang cool so let's get into it so i have port 9 if i wanted port 10 let's see here we'll do port 8 to be the primary now and then i could do this one port 9 be the secondary so that's pretty cool you can do that or let's say i want let's do 10 primary 11 secondary or if i want secondary the 9 i can hit apply and it will move my connection to what's the secondary or whatever. Here's the cool thing. They do have failover, so failover's on. So if I had a secondary, it would automatically, if one connection goes, it's gonna go to the secondary. So we'll go back to what my default was. So, oh yeah, it's like the eight first. Go back to 10, nine, everything's the same. That's why the apply changes went away. So let's say that my primary connection failed. If I had another internet connection, boom, it would, the second internet connection would be going through it. It would just be like, oh, we're going to this connection now. So if you have two different providers, like you have uh, either uh, Comcast or whoever on one or AT&T or whatever, and then you have uh, your um, LTE or, uh, yeah, your LTE connection coming in, then you could have, if there's a backup internet connection, it can go there and fail over. Or what you can do, if we do disabled fair up and distributed, we can select, if we scroll down even more, we can balance it out, depending on how much we want to go into one connection over the other. So this is 98% load balance to, this, to the second one or to the primary one. So if we go to, bring it down here, we can do 50-50 now. So it's gonna share the connection, that uh, two different internet connections, kind of making one of 50-50, kind of load balance them up. That's gonna be awesome. So you can get better internet connection speeds and stuff like that. It'll kind of balance it out between 50% or whatever you want. If you want to favor one more, move it the slider around and you can hit apply. Automatic speed tests or just if you want to be notified if your speeds goes down or whatever in your controller, but you can just turn on max speed test daily, weekly, set a time, leave it off. I don't know about if you have like a data cap or whatever, but keep doing a lot of speed tests. I mean, if it's okay if you do it like once a week or once a day, but if you're doing it like every hour, every, it eats up data if you have a limited connection. Usually with a business, you don't have to worry about that because usually you have unlimited, but if you're not a business, I mean, even with a business, you might have a limited, but that'd be terrible. You should try and find somebody quick, new. But uh, if you have a home residential and you have a limited, you know, of, oh, you only can go over this much terabytes and people are like, oh, well, that's a lot. You can get over it pretty dang quick. It doesn't take much, especially with the streaming these days it goes crazy you can use a lot of bandwidth quick but uh yeah so you can hit apply and then you're rocking and rolling again so you're back up to all your stuff and i just think that's so freaking cool i'm just not going to even do this we're gonna go click off here fail over and then we're gonna do what am i thinking yeah let's see sfp plus 10 and let's see did i do that oh yeah let's put this back to that's why even though it was failover and then Let's see, secondary, yep, 9 is 9, secondary is 10, yep, so that's fine. Let's go to cancel, perfect. All right, so everything's back the way it is, and the cool thing is, too, if you want to, 
let's say that you want, instead of using this SFP as, an, uh, as a WAN connection, let's say you want it as a LAN connection. Here's another cool thing you can do. You can go to your unified devices. We're gonna go to Capsule Corp, Port Management, Port Manager, and then here's the cool thing. We can select this port here, and you can see both all the ports are here. So we got eight again, like it's a LAN port, but we can change it to disable it or whatever, like if we wanted to, just disable it. But we wanna to go to port 10, where's port 10? Here's port 10, WAN 2. We wanna make this a LAN connection. So then if I apply this, I'm gonna have two LAN connections right here instead of having to use one. So if I'm gonna be using the eight and the nine as two failovers, and I'm like, well, I wanna do these as hookups. Well then do a hookup, maybe. Make that two uh, 10 gig LAN connections there instead of having to have one only for WAN and one for LAN. So that's pretty cool too. Uh, definitely helps, it's pretty good. I think it's really neat. Uh, and then if you do, let's see here, what else can we do? I wanted to show you, where is it? Where are we? We're in 10, there it is. Okay, so let's see if we're at 10. Uh, yeah, so you can select a 10 or one gig. So that's pretty cool though, but if you want two connections, I just think that's awesome to be able to do that on this switch. So you can have two 10 gig connections coming into it instead of being like, gosh, I'm not gonna use that as a WAN connection. So basically that port's wasted, like, nope. We can turn it into something else we can use it for. So I think that's pretty dang cool that you can do that. I just wanted to show you, but hey, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. Hey, and what I always say is, I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out, I appreciate all the comments and the helps. You know, I do these videos to help you, and it helps me out because there's so much internet stuff and tech stuff that's in this world, and I forget stuff sometimes, or I know what I have to do, but I forget like one step out of it. Well, it's nice knowing that I have my own videos too that I can go to that helps me out myself just to remember because sometimes I'll be like, oh, what's that command again? Or, oh, what is that stupid thing again? Most of the time I don't, but there is times I haven't done it in a while and I'm like, oh, let me search the web. It's like, nope, I know I've done that. I know how to do it. I know what taught me the best to do it. So I'm gonna do it that way so I can remember it better next time. So I can just go boom, boom, boom. Oh, what's that video? Boom. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, I remember everything now. Yep, I'm done. And then just get it done. So yeah, hey. I'll stop talking, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.